Hey guys, welcome back. Rice baseball coach Matt Braga here for our second instructional video. We sure appreciate you checking out the first one. Today we're going to do a little bit more hitting. We're going to talk about zone hitting, getting a good ball to hit. Because the bottom line is, guys, the better ball you get to hit, the harder you hit it. The harder you hit it, the more chance you have to reach base. The more times you reach base, the more runs you score. The more runs you score, the more games your team wins. And that's what this thing is all about. And rewind it, where did it start? With getting a good ball to hit. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over the nine zones of hitting. Pitching as well, this works for pitchers as well. Here's our home plate, here's our nine zones. So what we've got, if you look at the strike zone, it's slightly wider than the plate, okay? And it's from the below my, right below my kneecaps to right below my armpits. That's the strike zone. This is low and in is a one zone. Low and down the middle, two. Low and away, three. Middle in, four. Right down the middle, five. Middle away, six zone. Up and in is the seven zone. Up and down the middle is the eight zone. Up and away is the nine zone. This would work the exact same for a right-handed hitter. Just reverse it. One, two, three. Middle in, four. Five, middle away, six. Seven, eight, up and away, nine. Okay, so just flip it for a righty. I happen to be a lefty. So, what do you guys think the best ball to hit is? Five zone, right? That's what we're looking for. We're looking for a five zone. There's some of the tougher balls on here. What do you guess some of the tougher balls to hit would be? Three zone, that's where pitchers are trying to throw, low and away. If we were to flip it to a righty, this would be a three zone, low and away. It's a tougher ball to hit. It doesn't mean you can't hit it because great hitters can hit just about anything. But that's what they're trying to make you hit some of these tough balls. We want to look five, six, four in this middle area. So the first drill we're going to do as a hitter, I'm going to flip short toss. We're using baseballs, but you can use wiffle balls in the driveway again. You can do anything you want. The first drill, Luke's going to come up and hit our son, and he's going to swing. And after he swings, he's going to tell us what zone he hit or what zone he took, or if it's just a ball, and he won't even call the zone at all. Okay, let's get busy with drill number one, calling the zone short toss. Okay, so let's review. Luke's is a left-handed hitter like I am, so low and in is a one zone. Down the middle, low two. Low and away, three. Middle in, four. Right down the middle, five. Middle away, six zone. Up and in, seven. Up and down the middle, eight. Up and away is the nine zone. Here we go, let's get to work. So here we are, I'm just doing front, front flip short toss, calling the zone short toss is the name of the drill slash game. Here we go, Luke's going to call the zone. Out. Set out. Four zone. Six zone. Six zone. Okay, so remember when we're doing this short toss, front toss drill, when we're doing it, when he's calling zones, I don't want to just put every ball in the five zone right down the middle. I want to throw some balls, kind of like a real game. I want to throw some up. I want to throw some down. I want to throw some out. I want to throw some in. Okay, and he may take in. He may take out if he's not looking for that. That's okay. He is just calling the zone of where the ball is at. But we never want to take a five zone or five, six, or four, five. Let's go. Okay, the next drill, actually a game that we're going to play is called 12 ball. What you're looking to do on 12 ball, if you hit every ball hard, you get 12 cuts. If you do not hit a ball well, roll over it, pop it up, hit it weakly into the ground, just don't hit it well, it's an 0 for 2. So you're going to start with 12 and we're going to count down to 0. Hit it well, you're at 11. Hit it well again, you're at 10. Hit it well again, you're at 9. Next ball, you don't hit well, you're at 7. Next ball, you don't hit well, you're at 5. So I think you get the idea. So if you go good all round, you're going to get 12 cuts, which is awesome. If you do as bad as you can do, you're only going to get six cuts because it's 0 for 2 down from 12 every time. Now, as a hitter, 
What you're looking for in this drill, remember five zone down the middle, you're looking for five zone expanded. A little bit into the, all the other zones, but specifically looking to hit the five zone. As a coach, I might try to make you chase some balls not in the five zone. Let's get to work with 12 ball. All right, 12 ball live, he's starting with 12. He's down to 11, that was a good swing. Good, he's down to 10, good swing. Good, he's down to nine, good swing. Good, he's down to eight. Let's roll over this one, miss this one. Okay, that would be down to six, it would be an 0 for two. That's 12 ball, you want to maximize your cuts and get 12 swings in the batter's box. Get it done. Our final drill of the day, slash game, because it absolutely is a game, is called How Good Are You? And what you're looking to do in this drill is you call the field. So if you want to hit the ball to left center, you say, Coach, left center. And so think about it, a left-handed hitter, in order to hit the ball to left center, is looking 5-6 zone, middle away. If you want to hit the ball to right center, you say right center. Now the hitter's looking 4-5 to five zone, middle in. If it's not in those areas, don't swing. We don't want you to hit a six zone to right center or a four zone to left center. So on a pitch where you can hit a ball. If you're trying to go back up the middle, you're looking for a five zone expanded, which we just went over in the last drill, 12 ball. Our hitter is gonna yell out where he's gonna hit the ball because when you say you're gonna do something, it happens more often than if you don't say it. So he's gonna tell me what he wants if he hits his spot, he'll move to another field. If he happens not to hit where he said he's gonna hit it, he has to repeat that field until he gets it, and then he moves on. Let's get to work. How good are you? Left center. Good. Move on. Center. We'll take it. Move on. Right center. Ball's away. He doesn't want to hook around it to get right center. He's going right center again. Good. Center. Good. Left center. Left center. Good. That ball's in. Don't want that. Hunting middle away right here. Left center. Good. All right, guys. Hey, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us. So appreciate you. Hey, what we've got on Thursday, we're going to do it all over again at 1 o'clock. Same place, same time, same channel, all that good stuff with one of our assistant coaches from Rice. Paul Yonish. This guy played in the big leagues like nine and a half years, guys. He, I think he's going to do some infield instruction, if I'm not mistaken. And he was amazing with that glove. So tune in Thursday to see Coach Yonish as well. You guys take care and have a great night.